Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, <laughs> depending on where you are and what time you happen to see this video. I'm setting this intention here for the next 24 hours. I am posting it for July 6th. However, it might not be July 6th where you are in the world or you might see this in a few weeks or a few months. So we're just asking for a message for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. And I want to say happy birthday to all the July 6th babies out there. Happy birthday, July 6th birthdays. Let's see what message is coming up here for the next 24 hours. And we have the King of Pentacles. We're going to move you all just a little bit closer. King of Pentacles traditionally could be um, earth sign energy, which is funny because I wonder if his ears were burning. We kind of talked about him a little bit in yesterday's, <laughs> in yesterday's, uh, card of the day. Yesterday's card of the day was the King of Wands and he happened to come up. So here he is. He's like, you guys are talking about me and now here I am. Uh, King of Pentacles traditionally could be an earth sign person, uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, earth sign is capricorn taurus or virgo so some of you could be dealing with an earth sign person or someone with earth sign placements uh you may have earth sign placements you may be focusing on these areas of your life now for me in my readings the king of pentacles is is a special card some of you have heard me say i kind of have a special relationship with the king of pentacles card we go we go way 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 back first time i ever touched a, a deck of cards first time i ever pulled a card uh for myself uh i got the king of pentacles so i always remember that and over the years reading for people and even pulling cards for myself this card has come to have a special meaning and i'm going to explain that to you guys traditionally this could be a card about opportunities investments uh making your resources grow having the midas touch okay and it doesn't only have to be about money right because the pentacles are about energy money is the way that we humans measure time spent or measure energy but this is a card about energy so one of the key words for the king of pentacles is the midas touch and the Midas touch being that that which you touch is going to prosper. When I see the King of Pentacles, it tells me this is a time in which the works of your hands are blessed. You're going to have positive results in the things that you're putting your time and your energy and your efforts into. Okay, uh, moving up, advancement, raises, promotions, um, successful endeavors, successful projects. Uh, finding out how to multiply what you have existing, right? Looking around you, you might say, oh, I have some items here that I can sell, or I have some gifts or talents that I can put to use, or I have this property that I can make use of, or I have this space that I can make use of, and just kind of being able to come into efficiency and uh, multiplying the resources you have, uh, being very self-sufficient in that way. The King of Pentacles, the special meaning that I have seen over the years, the King of Pentacles, and this is just something that is for me in my readings, when I'm reading for people, every tarot reader will have certain cards that over the years develop an extra meaning. Um, and so this is one of those cards for me. So the extra meaning, if I'm reading for you and I get the King of Pentacles, I have seen this card to come up to say that there's some opportunity that is presenting itself to you in the very near future. And it's gonna be something that you're really excited about. And you're gonna think to yourself, wow, this is great, this is wonderful, I would love this. But that imposter syndrome kicks in, that negative ego kicks in, and you start to think to yourself, this must be a mistake. There's some kind of mistake here. Like, this is being offered to me, but either I'm being way too optimistic or um, this, this opportunity has presented itself. Someone is offering this opportunity to me or has some interest in me. 
uh, whether it is business, romantic, friendship, collaboration, whatever it may be, right? Somebody is extending an offer or interested uh, to bring you on in some way or hire you or promote you or work with you or whatever it might, or date you or whatever it is. And you might say to yourself, this is, this is, this is a mistake. Like this person is only extending this to me because I must have left a way better impression of myself than I actually am. If I were to accept this opportunity, it's going to be just a few short days or a very short period of time before they're like, whoa, 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 we made a mistake. We made a mistake. We thought you were better than you actually were, but this isn't going to work out. And then you're going to get fired or you're going to get dumped or you're going to get, you know, uh, you know, cut out of a project or something like you think that it's a mistake that this is being offered to you, that they don't really understand who you are. Otherwise, they wouldn't be extending this to you. But the meaning that this card has had for me is that, look, listen here, <laughs> listen up. If you weren't ready for it, this opportunity wouldn't be here now. It's here now because you're ready for it, right? And whoever is extending it to you is a wise person. Whoever is extending it to you uh, sees your merits, your potentials, your gifts, your talents, your capabilities. Oops, <laughs> candle just went out, gave us some confirmation right then and there, right? I don't know if the smoke is getting picked up here, but there's like really pretty smoke trailing. Um, if you weren't ready for it, it wouldn't be here now. It's here now because you are ready for it. And you have the Midas touch. You have the gifts, characteristics, attributes, needed to make this a success and you will be successful so the king of pentacles for me oftentimes comes up when we feel unworthy of a situation or we feel unworthy of an opportunity and he's just basically saying look i know a good thing when i see one and i'm not going to put my time or energy into things that aren't going to pay off for me right i'm a good judge of character and I'm here and I'm telling you, you have what it takes. You are good enough, right? I wouldn't offer this to you if you weren't ready for this. And so you can maybe try to remind yourself of that and just remind yourself that uh, we manifest things. Sometimes we manifest things and it came sooner than we thought it was gonna come, even if we've been waiting a long time. And we're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm not ready. Or I didn't think it was going to happen now. And then we push it away, right? So don't push it away. Don't push away the opportunity. Don't push away the blessing. Don't push away the gifts. Don't push away the manifestation. If you weren't ready for this, it wouldn't be here now. It's here now because you're ready. Go for it. And the time and the energy that you put into it will flourish. The time and the energy that you put into it uh, will be fruitful for you. Okay, you may want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign um, in the love readings and the weekly forecast that are linked in the description of the video um, if you haven't already. If you want to check out uh, those videos, playlists are linked in the description. If you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, there is a link in the description of the video that will take you to the scheduling page calendly.com slash amethyst angelite and you can schedule a private reading with me there uh i am going to be doing another uh live one card pull okay uh so you guys can maybe let me know in the comments and i'll post in the community tab too uh uh to get uh you know to get some ideas or see if i can like get a poll of when to do it but if you guys can let me know um, the time zone that you're in and like the day of the week that might be better for you, days, um, evenings, you know, and whatever seems to be most common or most uh, <laughs> asked for or whatever it might be, uh, I'll try to come on at those times. But I'm, I want to try to do once a week here if possible if I'm not being too ambitious to go on for about an hour and do one card pulls 
Uh, there is absolutely positively no obligation to donate money or to super chat. Those of you who've done that, I appreciate it greatly. Uh, but I don't want you to feel like if you don't send me money that I won't pull a card for you. That's, that's not the case. But those of you who have been doing that, I do appreciate that. Um, I'm probably going to do more of the one card pulls because I do want to pull cards for you guys. And those of you who do feel moved to donate or to super chat, I thank you. I'm going to be gathering up that money and uh, probably hitting the road for a while. I'm probably going to just take Maxi and go on the road and try to see where I want to relocate to because a lot's been going on and it's pretty clear to me that it's time for me to leave where I am. <laughs> I just don't know where I'm going. But when I left LA, I didn't know where I was going and where I am now was was good for the time that I was here and that I've been here, but it's time to get going again. So those of you who want to contribute towards that, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, if anybody has suggestions of places you really like or that you've been to that you might think, you know what? I would totally go live there, you know, um, or, you know, and I'm just, I just, I'm kind of done with the big cities, so keep that in mind as well, but if anybody has suggestions, do let me know. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day ahead. We'll see you in tomorrow's messages. Take care and be well, my darlings.